so here we go. This is March 2022. So this is in British Columbia, Vancouver, and this is important. This collapse started in 2011-2012. That's an unarguable fact. Without hiring, we will have nothing. Eventually, we will. Big fish eat little fish. Just a total 100% wipeout. Well, it's 99%. This is historic and important. This started in 2011-2012. We have the data on the salmon. We have 10 years now collected. They've stopped fishing and stopped gill netting on these rivers. And there's still an epic collapse. There's two in the Rogue right now. Two Chinook in the Coal River Hatchery. Right now, we just called and checked. So, um, this catastrophe started in 2011. So we have the data, you can run regressionary models. Big fish eat little fish. You can take all the, you know, hypothesis out. Kevin Blanche's hypothesis was this hypothesis then. These are full blown out melvins. It's gonna push into the ocean, it's gonna break the chain. And I want everybody to just answer me something. Just answer me a question. I want you to answer me a question. So, we're scared to death of full blown out nuclear meltdowns, right? Scared to death of them. Okay, how about Kevin Blanche's tide pool? Talk about, you know, my Nobel Prize. How about Kevin Blanche's flammable work? How about my work at the IAEA? How about my work on, I mean, I go on and on and on and on. You're going to ignore me. Well, kettle me. Attack me viciously. How about my cancer? What can you say of you from you? We're going to ignore it all. So full blown out nuclear meltdown. When I first thought, it took me a year and a half to convince anybody it was one meltdown. So you're telling me now it's an arguable, it's an arguable documented proof there are at least three four cobalt meltdowns. They've never got to the cores, they've never got anywhere. Took me a year and a half to convince anybody it was one. So you're just telling me there's no byproduct from full blown out nuclear melt. Didn't happen at Chernobyl. That was one core that blew up, 700 and something thousand men entombed it. And it's a catastrophe. Didn't happen in my act, didn't have San Jose. New scale goes public, floor construction right here, founded on this university, goes public. A company with no revenue, a company with no product, Price Anderson, a company with government pork. You're going to tell me full blown out meltdowns, there's no consequence. For every action, there's a reaction. For every yin, there's a yang. That's basic fundamental physics. <laughs> Kevin Blanche, talk about the plasma physicist. Hmm. Einstein, metal bronze, Blanche. As I called it, Fructonium. Scientists are mystified, they're baffled, they're puzzled, they're stumped, they're perplexed. There's going to be only one answer to that. They all in the golden handcuffs. Everybody all in on this money, 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 economy over ecology. How about the well collapse? You can run regressions now. You can run statistical regression through a computer model. We have all 10 years of data. We don't get dead typos. Kevin Blanche does. We don't get dead humans in bone marrow plant plants. Well, Kevin Blanche does. We count all the salmon. We have the data. There's no dams on the July Smith. It's an epic catastrophe. You run the regressions, it'll pop up the greatest outliner in human history. It'll pop up 2011, so you can take all the hyperbole out. Of course there's overfishing. Of course there's all kinds of toxic, these cruise liners, everything. This was the tipping point. So you're telling me there's no byproduct from full blown out nuclear meltdowns. That's what you're saying. That's what everybody's saying. And I can prove this is the greatest cover up in line, the greatest epic denial in human history. Headline story USA Today when it looked like Putin was going to blow the big Z or Chernobyl. Could be Fukushima style disaster. Front page USA Today. You all act like you don't know. As I can name it, Fructonium. It's a gas, it's a plasma. You broke the chain. You promised you would end. We had record returns on the Chinook in 2010, 2011. Chinook could see for five years, then it collapsed in 2016. Smoking gun. Still had collapsed on cue. Big fish, eat little fish. You broke the chain. The plankton went out. How about the, my documentation of the gray whale starvation event? 
the Great Pacific Genocide, the greatest PhD in human history. Right here in the belly of the beast, the university that created this monster. The university that built the nuclear reactors.